There's been a lot of movies made since the beginning of filmmaking. 500,000. Of the 500,000, only 212 have dinosaurs in them. And that's even including Godzilla, which really isn't a dinosaur. Of that 212, seven Jurassic Park films. Yes, there is seven. It's an eight minute short. Trust me. Check it out. Join us as we review number seven, Jurassic World Dominion. On this episode of Movie Chatter Podcast. the Costa Rican jungle, it's Movie Chatter Podcast. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, look at Kelly. <laughs> you told me not to laugh. So I know. I'm... I almost laughed when you told me not to laugh. That open you is knew. epic, Dave. All right. Nice job. Now we're a real podcast. Yeah. With now we're a Jurassic that was World legit. Dominion. I love the cool. statistics. Yeah. 212,000. You would have thought there and was that, more than that, right? Uh, but I counted every, you know, according to the internet, every dinosaur. Movie? I mean, everything. 212 movies. That has with... a, only, you know, even a shot of a dinosaur hmm. in it. And, and, and time out. What's your cutoff for calling it part of this? Because... Camp Cretaceous was produced by Steven Spielberg. Mm. Yeah, I think uh, you didn't include. I didn't. I didn't include those. I mean, I it's a series, animated. but I'm just saying it uses the score produced by Spielberg. True, it's true. part of it. It's that part would, of the franchise. That would add to it. So you guys sober now after we all saw Jurassic <laughs> World Dominion last night? Fantastic. The full crew. Yeah, barely love those sober. Nights. Yeah, I yeah, love these theaters now that you can get a good. Hazy IPA. Mm. Yeah, I didn't yeah. realize that. Dinner and a right? movie, all yeah, in had, one. You had dinner. Yeah. I didn't realize it when you guys fun. got up, that's where you were going to get beer. Uh, it's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was probably a mistake, but, you know, <laughs> hey, you only but live But not once. one that you thoroughly regret. Not too much, yeah, no. By this well. time. <laughs> it tasted so good. It was I used tasty. to always, you know, not want to get up during a movie, but you're probably mm. going to see it again. Right. And mm. then you will go, oh, this is the part where I was that gone. I was right. gone like, getting a Why beer. don't I You're remember old. this? Oh, right. Yeah, it's yeah, like that bonus of five extra minutes. Right. But plus, I mean, like, we're at least advanced movie viewers where you can pick your moment just a, just a little bit. Right. You're like, okay, scene change. I can kind of predict what's going to mm -hmm. happen here. You tag somebody and say, hey, let me know what happens. Exactly. And right. then you go. Some and then you bolt. Some exposition, something like I, I tried to bolt early. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, they're still kind of doing backstory here on the little girl and all this kind of jazz. Yeah, I don't remember yeah. what happened during your, started your slow. break. Mm -hmm. it, it did start oh, no, slow. Wait. No, wait, there was it actually started fast. You see this in the trailer, that giant whale thing. Oh, comes yeah, out. right. Oh, right, right, right. No, 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 scene. yeah. You yeah. get a chomp, cool. chomp mm -hmm. right out the gates. Yeah. And that's it. I mean, that... tip that giant boat over. I thought uh, that's a great start. I love big action. I'm telling you, if there were, I love that. If thing. there were dinosaurs that were pulling boats underneath, we would be firing F-16s at them. I yeah, think. I would think so too. Yeah. I mean, you know, e even like protected animals that we have nowadays. Right. If they went amok. Right. They would. We would kill them. Right. If it's, they posed like, a threat to us like, as a species. Like, like name don't something they call that, that like invasive species? It, like where you it's somebody the accidentally definition of invasive I mean, species. They, we planted them where they weren't right. naturally, and mm -hmm. then they thrived by chance. If and I'm, right. I, I'm just and are saying, screwing yeah. shit up. If we if we were to look at it in that scientific manner, yes, I am sure they really fucked things up for like <laughs> other carnivores. Yeah. Like, For sure. how's a wolf going to get his dinner when there's a raptor around? Right, when the wolf's now getting eaten by the raptor. I'm just saying. I yeah. love that scene. Can we sustain this? a great scene. This? No, probably not. Probably no, they not. would, They would like, re... I mean, or I guess... Or we become food again, ultimately. Right, I mean, you're... you're <laughs> basically, they would probably take over the planet again. I mean, they didn't talk about, like, animal rights people... But, a little bit. There was peripheral, like rights, political stuff happening. A little, a little bit. A little bit. I mean, that's where the where the series or the uh, the the movie Jurassic Park has evolved to now. Now, I if mean, it was real, and this, if they really did that, I would be one of the people 
with the sign saying save the dinosaurs yeah, yeah or I, kill them no save them i want i want t-rexes coming across the road you're like even if it like means my life i <laughs> save the t-rex yes hmm. oh my god hmm. Hmm. i don't know especially if they're delicious you know if you could oh get enough of them i don't and- think you're allowed to like hunt the t-rex you like you want a t-rex steak well yeah there you go now we're farming t-rex. eventually eventually I'm sure that would happen. I mean, like a brontosaurus is just a giant cow. Sure. Right. That big... Exactly. We would figure out which, I mean, somebody Eventually. is going to figure out which ones are delicious. It's the way we always do it. Oh my and, God. you know, I mean, I aren't chickens like little dinosaurs? Isn't that what oh, we say? Yeah, absolutely. You know, so. Delicatessen. So it would chicken. be like compy tail is like suddenly a hot thing and there you go. soup somewhere, some Boom. shit. Yeah, all those little those little tiny raptor looking guys. I love brontosaurus guys. soup. Yeah, right. Oh yeah, really tasty. Fred Flintstone. He had mm-hmm. a brontosaurus burger. Remember? Oh yeah, and those there big ribs. The big oh, ribs would, on the would, side of his car. Tipped his car over. Absolutely exist. If if there this you go. happens. Oh god. Wow. For sure it would. Actually, we'd probably they, be like, wow, this is and everybody this is in Texas. Be helpful. Everybody in Texas would want a pet T Rex to go with their tiger. Yeah. You know. There you go. Well, there were there was a little bit of that. It was kind of natural, but they're already like, you know, cowboys herding these guys. You know that in this movie mm-hmm. where you know it's right. There was a lot. The thing about this movie, there's a lot of information to get squared away. You know, because right. we're like, they're trying to explain well how, the, how everything has changed since the last one yeah, and yeah. get that to flow into a movie right you're, it's a lot of information it is. In funnel. Yes. Yes. well and and a lot of change right a like lot there's of change. that's that's maybe like one tiny tiny critique for me i don't know i don't know if i should say tiny or not but that or giant we leaped very quickly in a matter of i don't know two to six years right yeah i thought it was 10 mm. But no matter what, well, the girl though that's your that's your like oh, right. holding back on the timeline because right. other everybody else you could believe eh, five to twelve years something like that believable, but she was like eleven and now she's fourteen, so it's it's short. It didn't, yeah, it didn't make sense. It, it was like, oh, would they populate and be like spread that thoroughly that they were quickly? So Malcolm looked thoroughly. like he hasn't ga- he hasn't Jeff oh, Goldblum he looks fantastic. He has that is why his drop. wife is like 35 years younger than well, him. He can handle oh that. God. No joke. They were, he Jeff was Goldblum. like 50 and oh, yeah. they started dating when she was 18. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. I All mean, right. good for him. Good for he's her. Stuck. Okay. They've he's been married stuck. for a long time now. So whatever, okay. it works. Mm-hmm. It works right. for some. Yeah. He's still playing that same character, you know, all dressed in black, still have that big black. And he was perfect. Yeah, he had like but a he black a leather jacket. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, he's... I love him. He's my one of my probably my favorite character. So of the, of by the whole far, series. since I since I dropped a critique right away, let me just tell you what my favorite part of this was. Yeah, this will be that, informal review. Yeah, it's a re, we're going to fully that, review this, but we're going to just talk. I don't want to. I mean, we're just okay. chatting now. Yeah, we're, this is. Yeah, we didn't get to chat that much. Do we last get to? Night. Do we get to like give spoilers? Or do I have to like hold back on things? No, oh. don't, don't, don't. Yeah, don't, don't give. Don't give uh, spoilers. horrible spoilers. Okay. okay. Let me just try not to. A tiny bit. Try not to. Try not to. Okay, well, this is easy to say. I mean, everyone knows this from the preview, but my favorite thing about it was that everyone was in it. Oh, right. Oh, everyone. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, you brought everybody back. Even B.D. Wong. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, everybody was in it. He's the geneticist dude. Yeah. The, mm-hmm. Yeah, the main. Loved him. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I did like that part, too. And everybody, you know, they all got their little their little bit. Yeah. Uh, and it was perfectly moment placed. In the sun. You had these lines that, you know, could have maybe been slightly predictable, but I, I, it didn't feel that way. It just felt like I know you, and oh, of course, like yeah. it made me laugh. Yeah. it made me feel. Sure, it's, it's a difficult a lot of, a lot of, movie to make. A lot of very difficult. That bar callback was high. kind of lines, stuff like that. I mean, they're definitely kind of bringing back i mean because they're bringing back so many people they had to remind you of things from previous right, and you almost right. have to keep them in a in a tight box yeah. to make that work like sure. you have your place in this in this yeah plot. there's some dinosaurs from i think the first one that come back to uh repeat and few few situations where the evil pharmaceutical guy is mm. who's mm-hmm. or, or not pharmaceutical but you ge- know genetic Who's yeah, making it was, all there these... was there was pharmaceutical implications in oh, it. Oh, was there? For okay. Sure, yeah. 
And he he, he looks like a uh, Biosyn guy. He's like head of Apple, you know. Mm-hmm. Looks yes, he, he had Steve very Jobs. much the, the CEO billionaire looking. And what was guy. his name? His, what his, was his unassuming name? sweater. I don't know something. No, I'll, Tim, I'll, I'll tell Tim you. Cook. Lewis no. Dodgson was the character. Yeah, and, and Campbell Scott is the actor. Okay, it's a oh. different actor. But what I have read is he is the guy that. Ne- you know Newman in the beginning of the movie yeah. has the money and they're oh really he's Dodson he is Dodson shut up he, he said Dodson remember he, that I was like and I clicked onto that I was like Dodson. so Dodson, oh, good Dodson for you. was I thought Dodson was the lawyer Dodson's that was the like one his that's selling guy. That, that, Dodson is the gray haired evil person in the movie right in that's the, in why the, he has the can the oh but he's shit Newman? that's why he has the shaving cream can that so makes so much di- sense that's so he why. Got, it got buried in mud in the first movie so uh, shit Newman man. didn't die no no no, no he did no, okay no, no. so time out he, he's the guy who was working with Newman in the was, in the oh. first movie in Jurassic Park yeah Newman we keep calling him Newman but the, obviously okay. that was, that Nidri. Was from Seinfeld Nedry yeah N- Nedry. Nedry he was like the computer programmer right. that worked in in Jurassic Park right and he's got this Barbasol yeah, can he that was, he's putting he was sample paid in, to smuggle steal the samples right. of DNA and smuggle them out and there's a cafe scene where he is coming to meet him and he's like we should have been more discreet about this and he's like what do you mean no one cares Dodson Dodson we've got Dodson here exactly that's him yeah it's him oh, so they okay. didn't use the same actor but it is the that's same the character. character gotcha it is the character oh. he, he went up that Dodson and I heard it not the same actor okay right he went up the ramp and now he is Whatever, the highest cool. in command I like it I got like it. that because that yeah. makes so much more sense where how deep rooted his motivations were. Right. This has been his lifelong I'd like to know dedication. How they, how they got that Barbasol can back. It must have had a chip in it. Well, it got like, it rolled into mud at the end. And then, end. yeah, then it covered in mud. Yeah. But whatever. Well, so when you're That's... a multi bajillionaire, you just pay some people to go find it. Yeah. That's excellent. So that for all the super Jurassic Park nerds, I like heard you guys, Dodson. To be a, fair, like I was like, "Oh, Dodson!" I heard him say it, but I didn't connect that that was him. Didn't didn't detract from me, you know, not liking the guy, anyways, right? I mean, right. his oh, yeah. character was still the typical idiot, you know, uh, jerk, jerk capitalist that you know was. I know that was a be... little cliche. I mean, you know, the, I mean, every every the truth is, it was kind of interesting in that cliches. he was. Making all these, you know, bringing back all these weird dinosaurs. I mean, that's kind of cool. And they, he did have a plan, except yeah, they. But his plan was to. His plan was to like fuck everybody the over. Earth? <laughs> yeah. Rule yeah. the earth with insects. That yeah, are, that's a spoiler. Okay, it's that's a big a spoiler. spoiler. Okay, right, so. which is which they definitely do not show you in the trailers. Yeah, I they mean, did a very good job from and the trailers a, that. Yeah. They hit a lot of stuff. There was, I mean, that is just. <clears throat> The biggest part, I mean, it's the entire movie right there, really. I don't think I mean, anybody's besides listening dinosaurs, to this. And it was a clever, I thought it was movie. clever. I like that addition. Otherwise, yeah. everything else was kind of rehashed. Well, you can't go like a part gone awry again. You can't. No, no, it's, it's, it's happened. Yeah. It's, that's tired at this no point. No one's going to that park. But I, I love where they went no. to it, where <laughs> now there's like black market. So mm. it's not, nobody's dumb enough to go to a park. Right, right. Of course that's going to go wrong. No, now you have like handlers and yeah. a black market. That oh, was yeah. really cool. And th- I think we talked about that last night, how this was a little bit segmented. But that right. was maybe part of the best, I don't know. It felt like three movies. Yeah. Segmented? Exactly. What do you mean by segmented? Like, well, there like... was three parts of this movie. Like okay. we talked about um, the, the scene in Malta where you see in the previews where the motorcycle is right. being it looks like James uh, chased Bond. by the yeah. bull it's, Right, it's a... Uh, act, act James Bond Act 1 was scene. like tapping in on everybody that mm-hmm. was going to be involved. Right, you just you had like to get the characters on, on all together. So just where, the multiple storylines like, storylines how they're going to come about. in, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, and then the last one was you're in the, the depths of the jungle, jungle mm-hmm. and you're... Plane and that crashed. like facility and stuff. Right. That, was, that was the. Oh, I thought that was pretty cool. The third, the third act. Definitely third act is, was the best. Yeah. Yeah. So like Ellie and Alan, uh, they classic. They were, so well done. Let me just they like, were nice. give props to them because mm-hmm. I just I believe Laura Dern that you and Sam are, Neill. Yeah, but it was Doctor Grant. 
Mm-hmm. It was yeah. Ellie Sattler and Dr. Grant. Like I was like, you guys, I haven't seen you in forever. And they were kind of th- their storyline tied in with that that secret thing that we're not talking about. You know, right. it, they mainly were part of that storyline. She which got was helpful. him to just go with him. It oh, seemed yeah. it seemed like you know that that that's what happened. Getting the gang together seemed a little Too little easy. quick. Mm. Like all right, we're all just gonna go. What did you think of Laura Dern's uh, you know uh, cosmetics uh, surgery and all that? I, I don't know. Did she look she, pretty young? She looked. Great. I mean, she, she. I mean, she was a little baby when she made the first movie. Right. So now I mean, she's a woman. So she's a year she's younger beautiful. than I am. Whatever she got done, she didn't need it. But she's. Did beautiful. She, I didn't. I didn't realize she had something done. I don't know. She probably got some Botox shots or something, but that's okay. They all look great. I, I thought they looked great by she, the third act. She was good in Marriage Story recently. Yeah, she's. But, I love Laura Dern. Mm-hmm. The third act. Sam Neill where, too. Where, where they actually got. You know the the different characters together. Yes. You got um, what what's Bryce Dallas, Dallas Bryce Dallas Howard. I mean, what's her character's name? Claire. Oh, Claire. Um, you got Claire. Claire yeah. and Owen. Chris Pratt and her. Right. Which and Chris Pratt was just solid classic Chris Pratt. Like yeah. you can count on those Love unassuming, super funny he's, he's, lines. All right. This is you, he's the dinosaur this whisperer. This is the time now. I'm going to bring right. up. Um, the dinosaur whisperer. Yes, where he reaches out his right hand. That's all you need to do. Yeah, you just you stick can out calm your right down hand. a giant dinosaur. Yeah. yeah. by putting your hand now near wait, Bill, now I wait. could see that like maybe working in a millisecond. Like if you caught the dinosaur off guard, like it was like he's wait, gonna what's bite your freaking hand. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hold on and a then second. he would be like, Ow. wait, now, that's just a hand, chomp. Do you remember there used to be? Like a dog whisperer show. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. 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 Caesar Milan. Okay. Now, very good. Do you believe? Nice. Do you believe that? Because he was he, like, Shh. if he came over to your house, could you, you think he? My dog? Do you think he could control your dog better than an average person? Like upon yes. meeting it for the first yes. time. I mean, yeah, he dedicated so, his life uh, to maybe. it. So maybe. Chris Pratt has something Somehow. special. He well, knows it's about practice and confidence. So mm-hmm. yeah, Caesar confidence. Milan, that was his whole thing. Right. You have to come in as the alpha. You mm-hmm. have to maintain your confidence and cool, and you cannot sure. be rattled. Because didn't Blue it almost translates. bite his fingers yeah. off? He yeah. Yeah. At him and then he pulled his hand away. Yeah. yeah. I thought they were going to show blood. Yeah. So he just has this different sort of uh, connection with dinosaurs okay. than anybody else. Well, Just like and, the horse whisperer. And with Blue, you know, and that kind he, of thing. Had, he had That's what we're to assume. Yeah. yeah. Right. You know, with Caesar Milan, his deal was he takes these dogs for walks, 45-minute walks, and then you bond, mm-hmm. and he can train them that way. Well, same with uh, Blue. I mean, there was... A lot of time spent yeah. together. So right. they had a relationship. Sure. A lot of bonding sure. there. But, but they did but do like it a couple saying, of times with bigger dinosaurs. You're, like you're saying, you know, you, you you have to be confident. You do have that, you know, Caesar could that, probably. That je ne sais quoi. You yeah. have to have that like in your being because you, that somehow translates across like right. vibes of air. I'm like. Exactly. That, I mean, that's what they say. I mean, you, if you have the right. Uh, you know, presence, comp- presence it, it'll make a difference. Yeah. Okay. Even okay. for an animal that you didn't take a 45 minute walk with. So we're to assume Chris Pratt is that same way. But yeah. to me, it he was ridiculous as well, Bill. See, it was insane. Dinosaur comes. I just <laughs> run. I don't stick out my hand. Nothing. I mean, it's but like, to be you- fair, I mean, if you were facing any kind of large predator i mean there's people you that might handle... up your chances by not turning and is. running there he is doing it right there i mean there's people See, that that's can what I mean. handle he did it on all kinds of dinosaurs it wasn't just the one that he last yeah owned. if you put me in the uh, and that a, dinosaur a was pen like, with okay, a bull be your friend. right i would freak out but there's <laughs> there's people that would not freak out around a bull right right they could it's i mean they matter, could let it charge okay you. so it's a matter of experience right have you ever okay. been around bulls no i mean th- no. there you and go we don't know what a dinosaur would do right in this scene i mean so oh, i do so there's a there's a herd of of these dinosaurs where they've got that weird little curly 
plume yeah. coming off their head mm-hmm. and they're galloping and then the horses are coming <laughs> and then you know one of them takes off to the side and chris has got the lasso and he and he grabs them and then after he whispers them down and everything like that the next shot is like him you know with with this giant dinosaur kind of lumbering along like you know he's already right exactly like a completely like a domesticated horse you know rather than just completely yanking at this you know rope the entire time so So we're 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 leaping quite a we're leaping quite a bit like so just to pick at that just a little bit why were they catching them that was only to like save them and bring them to sanctuary or or because I mean, that's I, also what would happen. People it was, it would catch like them. It looked like it was for... just a cool scene to film, right? Because they were, but they only grabbed one out of this herd, and that's the the one that went off. And then they were going to. We bring... didn't know what he was doing with it. I was it, just it's, curious. It seemed like, like what, it was like yes, that? he might have been taking them to some kind of sanctuary. I think at that point of the movie, they were just 